Capricornio, welcome back to Magic Team Magician Tarot. You guys are feeling ready for Halloween. You're in your spooky element. If in the past you didn't really like scary things or you went into, um, you called everybody else superstitious for their beliefs in being supernatural, you may now be awakening to those things. For sure. Or, let's just feel like you guys are changing. I think, you know, the turning leaves and everything like that. And you guys are going through a period of growth. I don't know exactly what's going on in the stars, but I would say there's definitely some movement forward. Okay, we got a Knight of Cups in reverse. So, water sign that you may have had an issue with. You guys have had this. This is a theme for you guys. It may have made somebody kind of sad. Um, but now you're giving more time and more attention to them. And you may have hurt their feelings. And now you're ready to bolster them back up. And Capricorn, when you guys are in your giving element, it comes in the form of time, gifts, uh, give people a few words. But when you do have those words for people, they can have a lot of meaning and a lot of weight. So here we go, more pentacles for you, Earth Sun. Nine of pentacles. If you have recently had a breakup or maybe a separation or a little bit of time, you're getting that peace of mind and that reflection that you wanted out of that. Okay, and then we have a magician in reverse. So um, saying no to manipulation, manipulative tendencies, poss possibly taking a step back from wherever you were, um, kind of overstepping or taking too much control in a situation. Now you're backing up. Or there could be uh, Pisces, Aquarius, Gemini, Scorpio um, person or element in your chart that you are kind of um, being bested by or you it was overtaking you and now you're kind of saying no to that behavior. Okay, a little bit of smugness. You could be doing some home improvement. You could be... Uh, yeah, you gave a lot here, or you're giving a lot today, and this is just a daily. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but you're going to feel really good about yourself at some point today. Maybe you make something or you gave somebody something that they really liked. You're going to feel like, yes, got them the right thing. Okay, and then we have an Ace of Cups. So rounding out the day, an emotional exchange. You might uh, get rid of some of those tears that are backed up. You might just have a more loving exchange by the end of the day. And not notice two aces here. Oh, okay. Uh, could be connecting with your child or a friend from childhood or getting back in touch with your inner child or something like that. Okay. And a two of cups in reverse. So this knight of cups may not be fully uh, satisfied with what you're giving them in terms of a material gift so I think that's where you have the two of cups in reverse it's because like they're still expecting one more thing from you and they don't want to see you in this energy or you may not be ready if you're not in a relationship you may not be ready to give up your single status you're only willing to like date or talk at this time but you don't want to limit yourself to one person because perhaps you're not able to come fully to the table here. However, somebody is going to make an offer to you. It just may be that at this time, the forgiveness hasn't fully been granted. And if you tried to go about it in a manipulative way, or you tried to do it through a gift or something like that, that's not going to be as well received. Okay, but there is going to be a new beginning. Let's see. Okay, delays will prove necessary. Empress energy with the three. So this could be that there is some sort of... I definitely get like a Virgo vibe here. Maybe some Virgo in your chart. A victory. Okay, victory is going to come over a longer period of time. Um, possibly you need to renew vows with someone if it is a relationship thing. If it's not that, then you need to give more to your relationship. If you're the more masculine party or you are the 
um, if you're like male identified, then you need to make your partner feel more feminine, more soft. Instead of just saying like you're sexy, you're hot, you really need to come at her with like, I love you, you're beautiful, you could be the mother of my children, because you have your six here. So 66, 12, they could have been born on the 12th, they could be, you guys could be a little bit older, one of you guys or both of you guys is turning 66, you're both getting close to your 60th birthday, and she or he really needs, if they, they could be, I'm getting like water sign, earth sign. You could definitely be in need of renewing vows, renewing the passion, and you're going to need to come strong with this Ace of Cups energy and this Ace of Wands energy. In addition to what you know and what's comfortable for you, which is like your confidence, keeping a nice home and everything like that, you're also going to need to open up to them so that you guys can have a Two of Cups upright because for some reason, just today, this is just a daily it's not fully enough yet. And why? Why, why, why? Let's get a little bit of advice from the cat bees. All right. Oh. Navigating by the stars, follow your bliss. Okay, if you and this person, if you know that when you really try, the romance flows. Go with what feels effortless. You feel like, I took all this time, I bought you something expensive. They don't want that. They want, like I said, to be adored. So get creative and also get emotional. Follow your bliss. If there's something about them and about their beauty, about their emotion, about their spirit that you love and that's effortless, indulge in that with them. And then you will be able to have a more, a realer exchange and possibly the forgiveness that you're seeking. Because they want to grant you forgiveness with the Empress card. Okay. All right, Cappy. That was your daily quickie tarot update. Magic Team Magician Tarot. Like, share, subscribe below. If anything resonated with you, let me know. Happy Halloween.